What's up everybody, welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are playing Creature Comforts. This is a game where we are little creatures. Today we are going to be little porcupines and we are setting up for the harsh, harsh winter by making our home the coziest home ever. So we're gonna have some spring, summer and fall uh, months uh, we are going to play through eight turns actually eight months in the game and we are going to collect resources we're going to build all kinds of different comforts the game is called creature comforts improvements for our little home and it's going to be at least we hope the coziest home for the winter now how the game plays i'll just go quickly over the rules i will not go over every single rules but you will see how everything works works through the game Basically you set up your board, you have these comforts over here, these cards, you have some improvements over here, over here we are going to each year flip two of these because they are going to give us some unique places to visit and collect resources and also we have all kinds of different resources here and our, our little home with some houses that we are going to use if we build improvements, stuff like that. And uh, of course the travel travelers will show up each turn in our little inn. To, today we are going to, this month actually, we are going to be go over here and talk with the little stripped skunk and he or she is going to give us something each month with, which we are going to go through. But basically what you do on your turn is first the visitor comes, he has some special ability, he does whatever he does. then. You roll these two dice of yours, now these are tailored to my color because they are my dice, each player will get their own two in their color. And if you see this symbol, this is actually one, not a six, which I find weird, usually these symbols the people put on a six, I mean I come from the Warhammer society where it's, the big numbers are good, so when you want to see a great, when, when you see the symbol of your army, if you have like custom dice, you want it to be a good number, not a bad number. So yeah, uh, you will roll these dice and then about uh, before rolling these dice, before knowing what these dice will, will be, you're going to put your workers on the board and this is the intricate part for me, at least I haven't see, see this in any game. I will choose where my workers will go and uh, over here for example, if I put over here three or under on a dice, so I can put my worker and that's that. And then I, let's say, for example, put one worker here. Let's say that one of them goes over here and one goes over here, for example. And then I'm just gonna lay them down so you can see them more clearly. And if I do that, so uh, if I uh, put them like this, then I will roll these dice. I will put them over here and then I can do, oh my God, this is such a bad roll. I mean, it's not, but yeah, it, okay. So now I can use this dice to put them on my worker spots and gain some resources depending if I did good or not. So for example, this one says that it needs three or under, which I clearly have all of these are under the three. So I'm just gonna put one of these over here. This one says total value of five or lower. I but I need to put two dice, so I'm gonna put two number two dice. And over here to get this resource, I need one, two or three. And I have that, so I can put it here. And over here, I'll just put, let's say for example, one, which will give me one knowledge, or I can optionally put number two, which will give me completely different things. It will give me to, uh, let me to discard one of these cards, which we are going to go through. Uh, I can discard one of them to get some resources in my uh, home for the future builds and stuff like that. So basically you then choose, uh, where you want to place your dice, you do all the all the different actions, you collect all the resources, and then it's time to build some of these things or cards from your hand. Now, you start with the three, but you have to discard one at the start of the game. So I am going to discard piggy bank. I'm not going to go for that, so I'm just going to discard it. And these are actually in your hands, hidden, but I'm just going to keep them face up over here because I am playing this solo, so I you are watching this, I don't have to hide it from you, you know? So yeah, uh, what the different spots do is over here you will just collect some resources each season. We have six different resources to collect. We have apples, we have wood, we have stone, we have yarn, some some grain, uh, so and uh, some mushrooms. And of course that is not counted as a resource uh, per se, but it's still 
that account for something, it's knowledge, it's coins, and it's this little thing. Now, this little thing can make your dice a plus one or minus one. And you get these if, let's say, for some strange reason, I didn't get number and this guy couldn't activate. So he didn't do anything. And that would be bad, but he actually comes back home and brings me one of these. So these tokens, so in the future turns, maybe I can like uh, uh, change my dice a little bit and all that. So that is that. Uh, other places what they do over here you can just get some stones and gold depending on which of these you go and this will rotate each turn for one space over here is a market where you can trade resources for different things over here you visit uh, because they have all unique abilities each of these travelers each month you can visit different traveler do something differently in these two spaces you can take one of these cards or one of these cards that are face down depending uh, which of the dices you placed over here if you come over here you can give any number die and take any of these four cards but if you go over here you get these blindly so you don't know what you're gonna get and your hand limit is three so you can go over three but if you're not able to build them you have to discard them and if you go over here depending which number you played because you see there is one two three four five six over here so if i come here let's say for example with a level four dice that I, let's say that i had a worker and i come here with a level four that means that i can only build these four buildings for and uh, i have a limit of four because i have these little houses that i will be putting on them so i have a limit of four different buildings to build and uh, yeah that is that that's all we do when when we collect all the resources we build some cards build these things if we want to and then we just the new things come the cards slide now regarding the these these uh, improvements and these comfort cards over here i am really not sure i read the rules a couple of times but the rules says slide the left uh, remove the leftmost card and slide other three but what happens if i buy it i'm not sure because the rules are vague about it they are not really clear so i just decided that if i don't visit the spot then it's the only time when i will be discarding cards and putting them one space down and all that if i don't visit them if i visit the spot if i take some of the cards i'll just slide them all to the left and just add a new one so i think that is the correct way to play but that might be wrong and uh, yeah that is that that's how the game plays as i already said we're gonna play for eight different turns and after the eight turns we are going to count our points up and of uh, <laughs> this little thing there also you get like a little title of sorts so you see what that your title is depending how well you built your your home improvement things so yeah let's start with the game this is turn one we have our new traveler stripped skunk and it says all month long which means for this turn entirely after visiting the owl's nest that is these two spaces that represent these cards uh, you may search through the discard pile and claim one comfort of your choice yeah that would be great if it came later in a turn but i mean it's fine it doesn't matter so yeah we saw that now we roll the dice and i get a five and a two which is not bad because I need eight over here to get these two yarns, which is really good. But I have a card here. When I build this one, and it does require yarn, it says plus seven if you store exactly two books here. So the lamp by itself is worth four, and I can get seven more points if I store two of the books. And I do get a book from over here and over here, which is really interesting. And I have a two, so I can pick this one up. So I'm just gonna do that right now. And I'm going to try and pick up the yarn because that is five plus, if I roll at least a three over here, I can have eight and then pick it up. And I can get another book over here maybe. And this card needs a stone and a coin, which I can get from over here. Exactly, a stone and a coin. But I need exactly number four for that. So that means that I need one, two, three, four, five dice, which means one, is, one will stay. So I, I have some options and uh, I really want to try and build lamp fast so I can use these 
books. I mean, it doesn't matter if I don't build it on the first turn. I can do that at the last turn of the game if I want to. It's not important that I put it immediately, immediately after I build this card. I can build this card and then through turns I can decide, okay, now these two books will be over here. Or I can just wait for the last turn and then see how is the best way to maximize my points. And uh, yeah, let's roll these dice and see what we get here. I see a 4, which means I activate this one, and I see a 1. But I don't see a 3, so how can I get an 8? But if a 6 and a 2, that's 8. Okay, so if I put this number 2 over here, I need to put this 4 over here most definitely. Oh my god, I got everything I wanted. I got everything I wanted. I put a 1 over here and a 6 plus 2 is 8. Okay, this is some lucky roll right here. Okay, so this one is left over. You just don't do anything with it, unfortunately. That's not a good planning, but still. Uh, in the later turns I might be short on dice because there will be some great spaces that use up to three dice or even more so you know you'll see when we come to it okay so we now activate all the spaces so this guy brings me one of these books I'm just gonna store everything up here this one brings me a stone and a coin which is really nice and then these two dice bring me two yarn okay and then uh, this one activates and gives me one knowledge which is also very nice and now since uh, it, i collected all the resources now i can build stuff and i will build this lamp which requires a stone a coin and one yarn wow this is such a lucky first turn it's incredible how lucky it is and I will just store these two guys over here for extra seven points uh, for the end of the game. I can optionally, if I see something better, take them off and maybe use them as a resource for something. But for now, let's just keep them here so I know that I need two books to score some points. Okay, that was that. That was turn one. Super easy game, right? Okay, now we discard these cards. They go away and we slide everything down and umbrella shows up i will not read you all of these what they do once if i buy them i will tell you what they do so some of these cards actually work one with another so for example a pot of tea with a rocking chair you get two extra points if you have both stuff like that the lamp doesn't have anything yet so far but that's that's what you are looking for and uh, yeah, we are going to go from the top. So these two go away and the new springboards show up that require different things. As you can see, they require five, require five and six, two of the same numbers, doesn't matter which number, or a total seven or higher to go on this space to earn a coin and a yarn. And over here, I forgot to mention, over here you see in the spring there will be no wheat to collect in the summer there will be no mushrooms to collect so you need to collect them before they go out and in the fall there is no yarn to collect because by then you should already made some self some yarn clothes okay so this one turns one point we did slide all of these and the new traveler shows up a new traveler is pine martin Pine Martin says, all month long, like the previous one, workers may not be sent to forest location, that's these two locations, that's the forest locations. On your turn, you may assign a dice to resolve forest locations as if you had sent a worker there. So we don't need to send a worker here to resolve, we just send, can send dice. Whoa, that is really good, because now I can really spread them around that means i will get some of these coins which will be super super helpful later in a turn okay so what where do we want to go next i really like almanac but it requires so much it requires two coins a stone and a wood it actually gives me this book over here and it acts like that plus minus token and I have it permanently, so I can always do plus or minus one on one dice if I want to. But uh, this turn, if I give, f I can five time exchange uh, something for a wood 
or I can give out these tokens. Oh my god. So many great things over here, but I need to collect resources like crazy. I need lots of resources. So if I put oh oh before I forgot first I uh, I need to roll my two dice a one and a two which is really awful like super awful roll but I need to collect some some more of these uh, yeah let's hope that these roll roll of the I will not I will just remove them I will roll them when I roll them I will put them here just so they don't confuse me or you who are watching pot of tea if i if i get a coin from here and if i get these two apples i can build this pot of tea by just going over here and pick it up so that's sort of a good idea to go for but what i have here is pantry i need to collect wheat and mushrooms and apples and i get plus two points for each set of them I don't like this pantry that much, but uh, let's just keep these discarded over here so they don't confuse me also. Let's do this. Let's go for apples. I have really low numbers, so I'm gonna go blindly pick up some, some cards and see what we get in there. Five, four to get two stones. Two stones could be interesting thing to get. When visiting the market, you may first make one trade of one for the red. So I'm just looking for these different things, what they offer. Bicycle. At the start of your turn, you may move one of your workers to a different location. Bicycle is really good. But it requires lots of wood and I don't have that. But I can wait for it to drop a little bit down and maybe build it then. I can get the wood from here if I get a five and six, but then I, oh, come on. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for that right now. So I'm just gonna go over here to collect, oh no, over here to collect some stones and then try to go for this one. Okay, let's try it like this and see what happens. Yes, let's try it like that. I don't see good numbers i mean i see some good numbers. actually no actually it's good i need two of the same wow that's cool that's cool but seven or higher i need seven or higher over here which means i would have to split these up or no no i can give these two fours over here that's seven or higher to collect this but then i can't collect this thing over here or this thing then this one will not work. What is worth to me more? To lose two stones or to not get yarn and coin? Coins are pretty worth. They are, they are good to have. You want to have them. Can I get seven somehow different without using those dice? I can't, I can't. It, that's, that's what I need to do. Oh, sorry. This, this is the three, three. And then I'll just put number two over here and I get some message on my phone. It is not important, so we continue playing. And then this one, since it does nothing, this one actually does nothing. Oh, but I completely forgot about these things over here. I can actually get like, I can do this and I can then do this and don't get yarn and the coin but I get much more resources. Let's do it. Let's do it like that. Let's do it like that. Okay, so this cube, I'm just gonna move it over here, brings me two mushrooms. And then this guy does nothing. We're gonna do that at the end. I think you should do that at the end. I get two apples from this little fella over here and then this guy brings me two stones lots of stones for me and then this guy over here brings two cards at random and we get a muffler and a pie okay that's good the three is the limit to our hand limit so we are still okay we don't have to worry about anything. And then this guy, since he didn't do anything, he will bring us one of these lesson learned tokens. And that was our turn. That was turn two. And I didn't do much, but it's a honest work. So 
We need a wood, an apple, and a yarn. Unfortunately, we don't have a wood, otherwise we would be able to build this. Or any of these we can't build because we don't have wheat or wood for pantry. So yeah, that's that. That's turn number two, which means that new stuff shows up. As you can see, this is really fast game. If you are playing solo, it's like a 45 minute to an hour because I explained the rules game. So yeah, this thing goes and then this thing turns one space up and then a new traveler will show up. I should be doing this last because this is the first thing of the turn, but still then we discard this card and we discard this one over here. We just take everything one space down and I really want to build that bicycle. I really, really want that bicycle. Ooh, bookshelf. Bookshelf is good for books because it gives you plus three for each book that you manage to store there. And some of these guys can bring you a lot of book, books. Ooh, I can get a lot of... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, lots of books and coins, everything. Lots of everything. Okay, so uh, we have Pilated Woodpecker. All improvements and comforts cost one less wood than displayed on their card. So if I want to build any of these things, I need... Or these, I forgot to draw a new one. If I want to do that, I pay one wood less for it. And as I can see, all of them have woods on them, which is good. That means I can get a lot of discounts. A six and a six, come on. Such, okay, okay, that's good. Actually, I need here 11 or higher to get these. And, uh, I get two wood, which I really need. And now with the wood discount, I can get a lot of good things. Okay, so I think this was a good roll actually. And I am going to do it like this. So this is two dice. So I can get that thing over there. If I come over here with a six, five or a six, I can get so much of the resources from all kinds of different things. In an exchange, I can exchange a lot of my... We need yarn. Where can we get yarn? One or two over here, that's... Yeah. Let's go over here. So that's five dice. One, two, three, four, five. This one need to be... One after another needs to be bigger and bigger and bigger, which means if I first put four, then I have to put five, six. If I start with one, it needs to be two, three. It has to be like a scale, increasingly. And uh, this bicycle, I really want to build that bicycle. And I think now is the time. So I'm gonna do that. Try to build a bicycle. And maybe get some resources, coins or something. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Which means that this one will do nothing. But if some of these things don't, don't manage, then I need to like have a backup plan for this one. And what would be the best thing for him to do? Actually, I think the best thing for him would be to, let's say, try to get some coins and stones. It's a little bit of gamble, but if we manage to pull it off, it's gonna be awesome. Oh, I see some big numbers. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna need to use this things of, thing of mine to do some shenanigans okay so this one i will spend it to make this dice a two now i'm playing this solo so i am changing the results of the dice but otherwise you don't do that because other players will also use the same common pool of white dice for their turn they will just use these things for uh, for they will be uniquely with these things, but these will be used by all players each turn, so you don't change these. Or if the dice, or if the card says otherwise, but you don't do it actually. So I put four, three, two over here, or two, three, four to get these components. And then I put these two sixes over here to get that wood. And then I will put this six over here. So I have everything available to me. And then this guy did nothing, so he'll just come back with one of these tokens. And then these guy, this guy I will do first, which gives me two knowledge and a coin. That's good. 
that's really good and then this guy returns with returns this guy returns with the wood and does some mushrooms oh, oh, oh. okay some mushrooms yeah i slipped a little bit there you know count dracula <laughs> and then we can build anything from here costing us one wood less uh, the thing is i would really like to build almanac to get this thing over here because that's really good thing to have, I mean, but I don't have two coins, so I have to skip it. I could probably get this one. It says once each turn you may raise or lower one village die by one. One of these dice, I can lower it permanently by one and keep its new result for the rest of the month. Or orchard to get some free apples. Owner gains apples when another player collects, but I can also collect if I want to. But I need to come over here. So there is these special types of uh, buildings that you can build in uh, your game that have like this little square space. You don't put worker over here. You just put your dice here, any number and collect resources. In this instance, there's two apples here. And I have some apple pie over here to build. And this one requires apple and this one requires apple, which would be a shame if I don't build this one. And it's only a stone and a wood. Bicycle lets me move my worker around. Uh, the umbrella gives me once each turn I may add one or two to one of my family dice. Which is also not bad, but it requires two coins, which I don't have. Tool shed. When resolving a worker in the workshop, treat your place die value as it were six. So over here I can put any dice and make it a six. But I'm going to build an orchard because I'm, I'm just gonna first of all I'm just gonna keep cards over here and these types of buildings over here so I'm gonna build an orchard it requires a stone and a wood it requires two wood actually but you know the woodpecker helps us a lot so I will resolve it like that and that means that when I have a dice left over I can send it over here and earn me some apples if I want to okay so I built that which means that this guy returns over here, these dice go over here and that's the end of the turn, the end of the turn 3 if I'm not mistaken and uh, let's remove these dice just so we don't get confused and uh, we're just gonna move these things over here the summer starts and the summer brings a lot of coins 3 of the same dice and you get 3 coins I think I will aim for that all even numbers three of all even numbers and i get four oh my god this is time to go for that as i already said if i visit the space i will not discard the lowest card so i'm just gonna put it like so and then i haven't uh, visited over here which means the toys have to go and the new thing is oh another another apple pie and then this thing rotates one space and we can start a new turn first of all a new traveler shows up a hairy tailed mole a mole shows up all month long stone and coins may be used as each other for any purpose so i can get like ah if this was later in a game if i could earn some stones and then use them as a coins that would be insane but i can get a lot of books which means I have a bookshelf over here if i get that bookshelf i can stack over here i can get over here like if i get enough stone i don't have stone ever nah this is so bad for two stone i can do this three times for two stone i can get one book over here and that would be awesome but i only can get two stones that's just one book and i need to buy a bookshelf which costs two books to build so uh, i had some ideas but unfortunately no Okay, so let's roll our dice. It's a two and a six. And now I need to place my workers somewhere. Oh, I forgot to move one of these houses over here because that will reveal some extra points for me. Okay, I need those coins. I need those coins. I need, I need everything that I saw I needed not sure how but i need it i need to have it oh i could have built a muffler last turn 
and uh, I, I apologize I'm gonna just uh, cheat a little bit because I completely ignored these cards but when it was that uh, wood discount I could easily build this with just paying an apple and this thing over here so I am cheating the game a little bit but just playing backwards so that's that and uh, yeah apologies I completely I was just so focused on this that I completely forget about this these two cards over here three cards actually so I definitely want those coins coins are good coins usually give you like any resource you can buy over here with one coin and if I get all even I can get a lot of and this pie this pie looks delicious pantry I really don't have interest in I can get lots of apples here but if I put this one over here, if I manage to pull off this and this, that means that uh, I played all my six dice and these two guys don't work and do anything. And that is actually kind of not good. You really need to decide what you want and then go for it. Why, sh why did both of these came at the same time? It is beyond me because they are randomized. They don't come up here every time like that. They are randomized, so. 11 or higher together total for an insane amount of wood and one apple so and I still need to build this bicycle I still want this bicycle so I can move my workers around if I see that I can fulfill some of these things I can move my work around and now it's time to go for the wood yeah let's delay that a little bit let's play this as a safe thing to do and maybe if I get this and maybe if I get that I can get some book or something the knowledge is always useful for something so who knows we're gonna play it over here like so and then we are going to roll these dice and see what have we done and we did something bad oh okay okay we didn't but uh, still oh my god this is a perfect thing so Okay, well, first thing first, I will use this one to spend it and make this four a f uh, five, make it a four. So that's three fours over here to collect three coins. And then I need to have all even over here, which I also have. I have a two, I have a two, and I have a six. These are all even numbers, which means that these two guys just return, each of them bringing one of these lesson learned tokens. And then I get four wheat, four wheat, and I also get three coins. Oh, I have four coins now. Now that piggy bank that I discarded, which will give me plus two victory points for each coin. Now it doesn't look so bad, right? So that is that. I played everything. <laughs> this was a fast turn. I mean, it was it the best? I'm not sure, but it was a good turn I would say even though I did miss on this insane amount of wood that I will be sorry about probably later but what can you do okay so these things go away and then the forest shows up a summer meadow shows up and then this one rotates one space over this one will do last this one gets discarded this almanac also gets discarded because we didn't play any of those and we get a wheelbarrow is really good wheelbarrow gave, gives you an extra resource wherever you put it with your worker when you visit but I really want to build a bicycle before, before it goes away which means I need to get some wood over there probably from over here and oh my god but yarn the knowledge everything oh come on so much things going on okay let's see what is the new traveler that shows up it's a gray wolf and the gray wolf says immediately in turn order each player oh may claim a face up comfort from the owl's nest then refill the owl's nest slide out. oh we can get one of these cards for for free and i did say i want to take this bookshelf because bookshelf storing books is really good but do I have any books to store? Let's take a bookshelf. It's six points by itself, so, you know. Okay, it's like this. Oh man, the stew needs four mushrooms. Okay, so 
uh, we did take our one card then we roll our two dice it's a four and a one a four and a one and now we need to see what can we do all even over here which i think is doable i have some of these tokens to change the numbers up a little bit this one gives me a for each of these i can get one knowledge which if i don't need to use to change anything that would be a good thing to do so i'm just gonna go over here try to take that if possible then i'm going to try and build a bicycle because i will have two woods and if i get i have to get this space for sure this this is optional so these two spaces i must get everything else is optional and that's a one two three four five and then this one is a six just one number any number so i can go in there and pick up one wood which is doesn't look so appealing but i can actually go over here maybe get two stones if i get a one or two who knows let's see what we get and we roll the dice and uh, we get some good numbers we get some good numbers i think we are good so i need this six over here to exchange these things for knowledge i can do that up to two times i need all even numbers over here which means this four oh that's a bad thing the bicycle is on a level two which means i need to play a two to try and buy it maybe if i do that next turn then if i don't do it this turn if i do it next turn and now he will bring me one of these and i can maybe use to get some apples go with the leftover dice over here to get some apples stuff like that maybe let's see if i do it like this these are all even numbers it says even right all even right it's all even numbers and that's one two three three and then this one goes over here uh, on these spaces you can only visit with these dice i'm not sure if i did mention that but that's why i'm saving it then this one will bring me two stones and then basically yeah then i would need to spend this one i would don't not yeah let's go over here like this okay so in next turn we most definitely build a bicycle most definitely okay i promise you that okay so this guy brings a lot of things he brings a wood he brings two apples and a coin that was a good amount of everything wow i like it and then he returns on my board what else what else we get this guy over here that brings us two stone tokens sure thing why not and then this guy over here he exchanges he exchanges what two of these tokens he exchanges them for two knowledge oh that bookshelf is going to bring us so much points and then this guy does nothing and he comes back home with one of these tokens and then this dice goes home and brings us two new apples so if we, if we find an apple pie i think it's here somewhere in the deck no it's just a regular pie oh but we can build that now okay so it's a building build time and i will definitely build this card over here so that's a pie and it requires two wheat and two apples to create and then i will build a bookshelf which requires us two knowledge and two wood tokens which i will need to collect next turn i will need to have two wood tokens next turn for the bicycle if i don't buy that bicycle and i'm raving about it constantly it's going to be an embarrassment okay so we have a bookshelf for ourselves which means that we can store the books over here each book we store over here is gonna give us three points that's nice and two books over here gives us seven points that's a little bit better just a little bit by one point better but yeah so this one goes away and then this one goes away because we didn't do any of that but we're going to go in an order so first of all the last month of summer is starting and we have oh we can just put another th one three over here and we get two woods which is okay i like that then this thing rotates one space 
then all of these things slide and get a new card and then these things over here slide and brings us a new card and then and then and then what happens and then this guy goes away and the new guy shows up and it's a wild turkey wild turkey says after rolling family dice each player may, may change one of their own family die dice to any results they wish and if i play one i can get a card at random and i can get a book Ooh, i like that okay so i roll these dice and i get a five and a two and i will gladly change this to one just so I make sure I get that one book because the books are points, lots of points. And then we need to place these workers over here, which I hope I will get one three, so I can get a, so I can get a two woods. So, and I need to put one over here because of this, and I need to build a bicycle. So that's that. So that's one, two, three. We have three more dice. Three more dice left to get some more woods and coins. I don't spend coins or anything here, but umbrella is really good. I can buy it just for, you know, build it. That pantry, I really don't want to build that pantry. I really don't need it. So, let's see, maybe preserves. I have pantry. Do I have pantry? No. If I have pantry and preserves, I can get plus extra points. Now this pantry looks more interesting to me. This one requires three apples, which I can easily, easily build. And I can go over here and get that one, or I will also get apples from here if I need stuff like that, you know. Let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Let's go for these preserves and then pantry, maybe build it and see how well we'll do. And uh, let's roll the dice and see what happens. Okay, so we have like three number threes. So this one goes over here for sure to give us something. I said that I need one over here to collect that book and random card. Uh, and uh, I need, let's say, let's put a two over here to build a bicycle. It's on a one, so it doesn't matter. Over here, I need any number to get the to get to pick up the card and this one will go over here and get me two apples and uh, that's that i have one left over that i can't do anything with so yeah let's start so first of all let's spend this one and gain two apples and then this guy will return home and he will bring us the preserves which we are going to be building then i get two wood tokens from this guy over here and then this dice does nothing and then this guy builds a bicycle for me and since i built the bicycle i need to remove one of these and i pay two wood tokens and one stone token the things are going pretty nicely and uh, then the last thing from over here from over here, I get one card, card, card at random, three woods and a yarn. Wow! And now it's going to be, start, it's going to start fall, so we will not be able to get yarn, but we can maybe buy it over here. And uh, if I have a quilt, which I don't, I have muffler, but it's pretty simple. Okay, rocking chair. We got a rocking chair, and also we got one, we get one knowledge, which we are going to put on a bookshelf right away. From this card, we got knowledge. And that was that, another message for me. Okay, I have some messages that I need to attend to a little bit later. We are really near the end, so uh, let's uh, continue playing and then we'll see what happens. I will, I will move this card over here. It's still visible, yeah, it's still visible on the screen. Just if I build something over here. Okay, so since I haven't... Uh, since I build a card, I will not slide anything. A toboggan. Toboggan. I mean, that's weird. Because toboggan is actually a creation word for the slide on a kid's playground, but yeah. Okay. 
We have these buildings over here. Wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow is so good. I need wheelbarrow. I want to build build. But it's two turns to the end, so I'm not sure if it's good to invest it right now into it, but we're gonna see. Ooh, some knowledge. Yes, yes, please. Then this one rotates. This guy goes away. We're gonna flip the new one now because we did all of these things. Now, usually uh, these cards are now emptied, but don't be afraid. Actually, there is plenty more plenty more of those cards I can't just get them out of the box so there's plenty more of these cards but they are all the duplicates of these and since I can't build duplicates you can only build one of these for uh, your cozy little home winter home so you can't have duplicates so the for the solo play the rule says just to remove them from the game okay the next thing that shows up is the american beaver and i know what this one does because i already played the game and it's freaking awesome so this one says all month long both forest spaces it's these two spaces provide an extra two wood tokens so i'm just gonna keep these as a reminder up here so they provide us with extra wood so if i go over here i can get three woods and two apples which is insane so that's what beaver does and i get a five and a three okay let's see what do we want to do if we build a wheelbarrow we can get for the last turn some extra resources and stuff but i got a five which means i get this one so there's the definitely one place i'm going for because i need knowledge and wheelbarrow will help me with that so five or lower for this one i just I just go for the two of the same number i think that's way easier to do and i i already have like a tons of mushrooms and apples so if i get some more apples to build these things oh i've completely forgot to build these things okay we're going to be building them uh, this turn even if we get some cards from over here but uh so that's one two three cards this is four and now we need five six we need some more card or we can go for us two because two will bring a oh quilt quilt will bring us seven points but i need to pay a book and i don't think oh my god there are so good things over here but yeah let's go like this but then i can't build it Next turn I can go and trade coins in the last turn and see how we how we do. Okay, I'm doing this. This is just a little bit of delayed turn. I completely forget about building these cards because uh, I don't keep them in my hand for this gameplay. So and I ooh, I, I bumped this thing without noticing. So yeah, uh, I could have built these. I I cheated once. I will not cheat again. I'll just I forgot to build them. You know. And uh, yeah, let's start and see what we get over here. Okay, so we get a five, a five, a three, a three, a lots of different cool numbers. And so we need two of the same numbers over here to get this. We need a five over here, or we can take it from over here. It doesn't really matter. Wheelbarrow is really cool, but it only, it's only two points. Let's go why why shouldn't we go for more points right so if i put a five over here to build a wheelbarrow and this one needs to be five or lower and i'm actually at the six but i can pay one of these tokens and lower this one to two and then i have it five or lower and i actually got everything i want is good so good okay so first thing first and we are not going to forget to build these cards now we get one knowledge that we store on our bookshelf of opportunity then we get two of the same numbers we remove them and we move this guy over here and we get three wood and two apples so we get two apples and three okay this is going to be awesome. I'm going to have so many resources. 
and then these two these dice return with this guy and he brings back with him three wood tokens and th two actually not three but two mushrooms i have so many resources check out my board it's bursting with resources i'm just gonna remove these because they are no more relevant and then over here we are going to build oh i just found something way better a recipe book recipe book is really nice it gives me oh so many great things so if i build a recipe book i'm thinking about it i do need to pay a book but i can put a book on each of my food and unfortunately i only have one that's pie but i will get these preserves so i can remove one of these books from over here that give me three points i can move them over here and get four points which is one point better but i give up three points from this book but still i get three points so that kind of means i'm even on the points and wheelbarrow is really i don't need it now because it's one turn till the end oh and also when i build this one i will remove this house which will give me an extra four points so i'm going to build this recipe book definitely i'm going to build this recipe book and it's five so it barely reaches it Woo! this was a lucky shot okay so i pay one of these i pay one mushroom and i pay one book one knowledge from the recipe and now i can store books on these types of icons these like uh, pantry icons but uh, first first thing first we're gonna build some cards and i'm going to build a preserves and preserves gives me uh, not gives me it costs me three apples to build and if i have a pantry i will get two points from it which i do have so i'm just gonna keep them somewhere over here you're gonna be able to see it and if i want to build a pantry i need to give up a wood a wheat a mushroom and one apple i have so many things built it's insane and i'm gonna build even more okay i'm left with the rocking chair i'll just move this one over here then this one gets discarded everything slides over here and then the new one shows up and i forgot to remove this house over here a mandolin mandolin is worth six points and it cost me two coins and two wood and i do have that I have lots of coins that I really have no need for so I need to think about that okay so we are at the last turn of the game after this we're gonna score points and we're gonna see how well we did okay so that's that this one turns one space over uh, this card oh we already did the everything else and <coughs> now the last visitor comes and it is a oh jesus i haven't looked at this guy at all i just now figured out let me see just what he was all about because i was super excited about getting those things this guy would for one wood and one either resource he would give me a book i could have had so much more books oh boy it would be insane but okay whatever it is oh the bear gives us one book if that's an option so a black bear shows up and all month long all of your valley locations provide apple in addition to whatever they provide so i'm just gonna so that means not just the forest but the meadow also so i'm just gonna keep this apple over here to have a gentle reminder about it and then i will roll my two dice and this is good you know why because this place needs exactly seven to collect all of these and with the pantry uh, for each uh, for each of the apple mushrooms and uh, and the wheat i can get plus two points so if i get these two wheat i already have enough apples and mushrooms so if i get that wheat i can do some awesome awesome stuff but i need to build i mean i don't need to build the rocking chair actually but it would be a good thing to build it and if i get a can get a quilt oh man there's so many great options right now and two books over here total six or lower that looks really good 
Okay, but uh, can I can I do it? Let's go over here for sure because we know we have seven. A bear gives us a book, which is really good. Let's go for the book. Let's just go and pick up as many books as we can because books can bring us a bunch of points. So let's go over here and try to get six or lower and hope we don't. I mean, it's the last turn. I shouldn't probably be taking that much of a gamble, but I really want, and I can build a rocking chair if I just go over here because I can use them coins to buy different resources. Oh, I can spend my coins to change resources for whatever it's needed for the pantry thing. So yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. I think this is a good thing. Yeah, but I don't have dice for all of that because that's one, two, three, four, five. This is six, then this is seven, then this doesn't work. Okay, but this is one book. So if I am not able, to maybe do something of that yeah oh come on but what if i go somewhere else and pick up something else and not weed but i need weed i mean i can't get a weed with coins i i'm thinking i'm thinking about not going over here just going for these two books and an apple and then this weed buy it from over here to get as much points as I can on pantry because then I can take this guy and do something maybe take some of some something from here like build a stool or, or something you know I can get some points from that or like a mandolin if I build a mandolin over here two coins two wood ah oh, come on I could do some great stuff if I get the right numbers. Yeah, but what if I don't get a four? Then I could exchange things for... Yeah, okay. I will not do this. I will try to get them from coins or someplace else. And uh, I will do it like this. And uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, just what I figured. A bunch of big numbers when I need total of six or lower, you know? And I need to put three dice over here, which means I am not able to do that. I will not. Ah, the, the roll itself. Come on. I am not happy with this roll. Not happy one bit about it. One bit about it. So I could get a quilt from this space. And in combination with the rocking chair, I can get some points that way. Or I can just do plus two for each of these things over here. I'm not happy one bit. I'm not happy at all that I missed this one. Let's just remove it because it hurts my eyes when I look at it. Come on, this was so close. Total six or lower. Yeah, I'm just reading six more times because I think that it might change somehow. This was a... And if I had more of these tokens, maybe I could change up some things or something. Yeah, it is what it is. We took a gamble. We now to have consider what are our best options right now. And I think I can exchange all those apples for coins and then use coins to buy all kinds of different resources. Or I can just get one book from over here with a four. No, I'm just gonna go and get like a bunch of apples and exchange them for all kinds of different resources and just buy, try to get points from here and from, yeah. I'm not going to complicate, it's last turn. I don't wanna bother you anymore. And uh, let's see, what else, what else? We need to put six over here for sure. We need to put any number over here. So we're gonna put another six. It doesn't matter. We can do this as many times as we want. And we can put some dice over here, whatever number we want. And then I can go for two apples over here. So I can exchange all those apples for something, something, something. Crazy things. Okay, that is that. These two dice are left over, unfortunately. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I am an idiot, a colossal idiot. So I don't get this. And this guy returns over here. 
Now you are probably asking yourself, what are you doing, Daniel? Well, I have a bicycle. I have a freaking bicycle that I was raving all about, which means at the start of my turn, which is now, I can move one of my workers to a different location, which means I can go with this worker because he does nothing. I can go on some different location, get something else that is way better worth for me, and then maybe play a better turn, right? So why shouldn't we do that? So I'm gonna go over here and put these two dice over here because that's a seven and we need to have seven to activate that spot. And then I'm going to play six over here and then I am going to play one six over here and I'm going to play one four over here and one three over here. Woo! This is actually a good turn. It's not the best turn, it's not what we hoped for, but still we got some great things going on. Now it's just a matter of thinking if I should get a book or coins. I have one, two, three, four, five coins and I can get eight coins, lots of apples, which means I can build a stew maybe, or, or because I have a muffler, the toboggan gives me two, well, we're just gonna have to see. Let's, let's play it like this and then we'll see what are we going to do with these resources. Okay, so this guy over here, first of all, he brings us three apples. So I'm just gonna take this one and this one and this one. And he brings also two wheat. So we have a bunch more apples. And now I'm just gonna, these three apples, I'm just gonna exchange for three coins. So I can then at the market exchange my coins for whatever I want. I'm just gonna keep my coins in hand. Now I have like, 1 million coins over here and I did this right now I just from that three apples that I returned it was this space over here and now now I need to see how many of the combinations I can make so that's one combination of the resources I can do this as many times as I want to get as much points as I can so I have two wheat Okay, I need to see how to build this rocking chair and the quilt because that earns us a lot of points, which means I need to spend two coins. So I, I'm now doing the trades. So I'm gonna spend, and I'm going to do this guy over here. And I'm going to, I can do this as many times as I want. One coin is one resource. So I'm going to, spend two coins to get two yarns because I need two yarns for the card. I'm just gonna put them on the card so I know what I have left over resources. And these resources means that this rocking chair will be built and then one book from bookshelf and one uh, coin from my hand means I can build a quilt. And uh, when I take this card with me, and that leaves us with five coins and I can change any two resources to any other one resource. So I have an apple and uh, I'm just maximizing my points now so I can exchange two of these for one wheat just to maximize this card output as much as I can. And then I pay two coins to get one mushroom, one wheat one wheat, one mushroom, and I forgot to spend these dice to get two apples, which I'll definitely need because that's one more. And then I can spend, I can put this apple over here. I can spend these two stones if I want to, but I don't want it because they are going to be, I mean, these are all, these are all actually one point, but I'm making them into three. So I'm thinking I'm doing a good thing. I'm actually not doing a good thing. I'm changing three coins, point for a resource. So I need three resource for two points, but I'm actually, ah, oh, I'm stupid. Every coin is one point at the end. And I'm exchanging three coins to get like more points, which is stupid. It's stupid, but yeah, I'm just gonna do this and this to get one more wheat and one more mushroom. And then I'm gonna stop. 
This was a stupid decision because the coins itself they are worth more points. I could have used I should have used them for these two cards, but anything else I was definitely wrong in doing that. But it is what it is. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take this guy and buy this card. And since I put all the resources already on it, I'm just gonna build this quilt. And it goes with the muffler, which means I will get some points that way. And then I'm gonna build this rocking chair. No, the quilt and the rocking chair go together. So I will move this wood over here and then this wheat over here. And uh, that means we are done. We played our game and it's time to score up the points and see how well we did. Okay, to score the points, we could flip this one over and not we could, we will flip this one over. We're just gonna remove these workers and this one house that stays over here. So we're gonna keep it like this. And we are just going to use one of these guys to track our points and see how well we did. And after that, we're gonna see what our title is. But yeah, that was the game. That's how the game plays and everything. Now let's score all the points. Okay, first of all, we need to score all the cards, all the improvements that we built. So for the houses, we get one, two, it's seven points for those. We also get, we also get three, five, seven points and seven it's 14 so we get also points for these three which is good and i may store one of these on each of these icons which i will gladly do because now they are worth actually four points and not three points from the bookshelf so that means that bookshelf gets uh, to stay empty which is most unfortunate but it is how it is and uh, let's first score the points for the cards themselves so we get i'm just gonna count in uh, in silence because i can't count out loud in english i'm gonna make something wrong add numbers wrong so i'm gonna add them in creation and then tell you what the english number is It's 40 from the cards, 40, so that's 54, that's 54, and we're just gonna take this one as a 50 plus, and then I get plus two, if I have a quilt, which I have, so I get two more points for a quilt from this card over here, I get plus two if I also have a pantry, which I have a preserves, and the pantry is over here, so that's another two points, uh, I get seven points from these two books. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points from these two books. This book and this book are all, both worth four points each, which means eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points each. And the last thing that is left is sets of these resources, which means this is two, four, six, eight, ten more points, 23, which means it's 33. And those are all the points in the game. And uh, let me just move all these resources back. And we ended the game at, at 50, 30, 80, 83. We ended the game at 83 points. I'm not sure if that is the good or the bad thing because this is the first time I played it solo, but I think I did good. 83 point is pretty nice. And now we need to see what our title is. We go through these things over here and we learn what our title is. So which comfort type did we build the most? We did build the most of the, we have uh, the same amount of pantry and closing, which means we can choose, we can either be snugly or deliciously. We're gonna be deliciously because I like to eat. So we are going to be deliciously. How many comfort cards, how many comforts did you craft? Comforts, that's these cards over here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards, which means well stocked. We are deliciously well stocked 
den denizen how many improvements three improvements denizen and final score was 80 something of comfort so we are deliciously well stocked denizen of comfort that's our title for this game this edition of that thing is absolutely awesome i just love it so much not sure why but it just brings smile to my face for some reason so yeah that was that that was creature comforts uh i am super pleased with this game i i kind of saw it and the i don't know i just like the artwork i didn't know much about the game i know it has worker placement it has dice which is just a sale for me it's in my book that's like okay i want it because it has a worker placement it has dice bring it but to be this good i really didn't expect it i love that thing where you are choosing before you know all the results and everything so you're taking a little bit of risks here and there but yeah uh, more about it in my review video this was a gameplay video and uh, yeah thank you all for watching uh, thank you for subscribing for considering subscribing if you didn't subscribe i think you should it would be a really thoughtful of you and uh, yeah you do also check out my patreon because things like these show up at the page on the patreon first and then i release them into the wild for others to see and uh, yeah that is that thank you all for watching and uh, until next time pozdrav